Well, how's it going, everybody? My name is Grovana, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. This is part 7. In the last episode, we procured our own house. This is it. Isn't it a beauty? My god, everything looks so pretty. Actually, no, it smells really, really bad, and it's a terrible house, but it's the best we can do in the Capital Wasteland. So, I think I didn't show everything this place has to offer, and here there's nothing until we get a theme. Uh, and here is our bedroom, where our disgusting, bug-ridden bed is, and a filing cabinet, a desk, which we can use as storage, by the way, and I usually do. And down here, let's see, I showed you guys this where we can put all of our bobbleheads. We have another storage thing here, that's nothing. And we have a refrigerator here which has a bunch of stuff we can eat. And because we have the uh, the food uh, sanitizer, we can actually eat that stuff and not get rads. And we also have a bunch of supplies over here and Wadsworth, which we will talk to you right now. Hello there. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. You'd think... I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? You'd think this being the wasteland, they wouldn't be able to afford to give me my own robotic butler, but I am not going to complain. So where can I buy more things for my place? We can buy that from Moira Brown. Uh, I'd like something to drink, and he gives us purified water. Certainly, sir. Here you are. Which we can give to the hobos to give us uh, good karma, or we can actually just consume it, and I think it gives you a little bit of health. If you say this again... Certainly, sir. Here you are. Okay, how many times are you going to do it? Certainly, sir. Three. Certainly, sir. Four. Certainly, sir. Five. I'm sorry, sir. My condensation collectors need time to fully recharge before I can continue to dispense any more beverages. So I th I guess it's like five every once in a while. I'm not sure what the exact time is. You can also get a haircut. Does he do it? Certainly. I am programmed with a... Yeah, so he can change your hairstyle. I didn't even realize that. That's great. I'm probably going to do that later on uh, off camera because I'm not really feeling this hairstyle. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what am I doing? Yes, I'm sure because this is already my hairstyle. Uh, tell me a joke and then he can tell you jokes and then he'll go like, my joke capacitors need recharging. Basically the same thing as the water thing. And I have to go now. Oh. Keep, uh, take care of the, take good care of the house, Wadsworth. I am out to go exploring. So now our options are pretty much limitless. Currently we have all of the DLC quests that we can do, but we also have the main quest and we have, uh, the, what's it called? I think it's called the Blood Ties quest, and I kind of want to do that, or we can continue on the Sur Wasteland Survival Guide quest. But, I kind of want to do the Blood Ties quest, and if you remember, Lucy West talked to us in, uh, Moriarty Saloon. And wanted us to visit her family in Arafu. So let's go ahead and show the location. There's Arafu. You'll notice it's on top of a road here. Um, so let's go ahead and fast travel to Springvale School. And then I will meet you guys at Arafu. And we'll see what's up with this quest. So as we're walking all the way to Arafu, uh, I want to take this time to talk about a new series I've been thinking of. And that is Ow. Yeah, the people. Oh, 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 hello there. Okay, I thought it was people shooting at me from that bridge. Uh, but it's actually this vicious dog right here. Alright, one more shot to do the trick. Anyways, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Um, I've been thinking about doing Fallout's Hidden Treasures. A lot of people have been asking for it and stuff like that. And I think it would be a good thing to do. The only thing is, I have to uh, sort of get a little bit into this game so that I will have the ability to like go to different locations and have the uh, you know the lockpick, the medicine, the science skills to open up all the stuff that we want to see. So I think that uh, series will come in due time, but not until we've progressed in, in this let's play at least a little. Man, this gun does like no damage. So yeah, that's definitely something to look forward to and probably it's going to be a series most definitely. One thing after the other, my god. Okay. But yeah, just want to talk about that. Alright, I think I'm about halfway now to Arfu. Jesus. So you just saw there, uh, let's see, that was a vicious dog, two naked mole rats, or they're just called mole rats, and uh... A rad scorpion. The rad scorpions have the most damage reduction, though, and they're kind of annoying to take out. Alright, guys, I will continue to Arfu, and I'll see you there. Alrighty, so, in the distance here, we have a, like, a raised highway, or road, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, that's like a raised highway, and this signifies the entrance to Arfu. I had to fight a lot of rad scorpions and various different things, but we didn't take too much damage. So let's go ahead and walk up here. It says Arfu, next exit, uh, miles but it's actually going to be like right behind this bus if I remember right now. I think there are some landmines. I might be making that up, but we definitely want to be on the lookout 
because they do have some defenses here to protect themselves. Not seeing anything, so we might be good, but you might make out a guy in the distance there. Can we actually pull him up on bats? We can, Evan King, and you'll notice that he's blue on the radar, so that means he's not an enemy. So we have discovered Arafu. Okay, that's what I remembered. There was an explosion. Hang on, you're not one of them. I nearly blasted you in two. Get over here before they spot you. Yeah, you sure did. Why don't you uh, shoot second and ask questions first? Hello there. Now what the hell are you doing all the way out here? Well, I have this letter for the West family. That's great, but I got bigger problems than being the town post office right now. The shit's about to hit the fan in this cesspool, and I don't think I can stop them. What kind of trouble? Well, at first they do their typical gang bullshit. You know, break stuff and make lots of noise. But they always kept their distance. But this last time, they went too far. They killed all of our Brahmin. I mean, that's our lifeblood out here, you know. And Brahmin are, uh, like, mutated versions of cows. And, uh, they're all slaughtered. What's got you so spooked? Let's go ahead and do that. Ah, uh, look. You can call me crazy if you want. But there is something odd about those creeps. I mean, they got the guns and they got the muscle. Why don't they just bust down our doors and take us out already? We're really in a bad way and could use some help. Life's tough in the wasteland, as you can tell. Let's see. I, I, I said that I wanted to be a good guy, but I don't want to be a goody-goody. Some guys, some people uh, were commenting that I was like a total goody-goody, and that's not how I want to be. I want to be like a rough-and-tumble type of dude, because this is the wasteland. You're going to find very, very few like pure good guys. So let's see. Let's just be like a good guy at heart, but we're tough on the exterior. So let's go help cause caps. Do I look like I just stepped out of Tenpenny Tower? I barely have a pot to piss in. Uh, okay. I'd be glad to help. What do you need? I don't want to take my eyes off the ramp here. There's no telling when the family will return. Can you do me a favor and check on the other people's houses here? You know, make sure they're doing okay? Speak with Davis West, Karen Shenzi, and Ken Ewers. All right, uh, okay, I have to go now. Just watch yourself. I've got an itchy trigger finger. You noti you'll notice that he said, speak to uh, some guy with the last name West who is going to be family with, um, Lucy West, and that's who we need to talk to. Do we already have a motorcycle gas tank? I think we do, because that's used for a schematic. Let's see. Uh, you were residents. I believe there is a bobblehead in here, and I think after we complete this quest, we can get it, or we can just like pickpocket the key from him and all that stuff, but let's do it the nice way. So let's go check on these people. Uh, the first one is going to be this person over here, who is Shenzi. The door to Karen Shenzi's house is locked. Let's knock on the door. Yes. Who is it? Sounds like she's talking through an intercom, but I don't see an intercom, so that's kind of weird. Uh, Evan King sent me, man. Can I come in? Oh, he did? Well, it's about damn time he did something. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. Okay, and if we, like, go away from it and come back, it says we can enter. Let's go ahead and go inside and talk to Karen Shenzi, which is kind of an odd last name if you think about it. Hello. It's nice to see a friendly new face around here. It's been a long time. The name's Karen Shenzi. Hi, uh, Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? Scared out of my mind. I'm glad he's checking on us, but until someone nips the problem in the bud, we may as well stay inside forever. Alright, well I think we're done with you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. And obviously you can keep talking to these people, but, uh, we're gonna go ahead and speed things along because I think t going too much into the dialogue is boring to you watchers. Okay. Here, this should be the West House. Oh, no, that's Evan King's house. Okay. And this is the West residence. So, actually, we missed one. I thought that was his house, but it's actually someone else's. So, let's back, head back over here, jump on the shopping cart, and then uh, go to this one right here, to the Ewer residence. Hello? Is this the mailman? Oh, I do hope my fall catalog has arrived. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, so this person's a little bit crazy. Huh? What are you talking about? Evan King sent me. Oh, Evan, he's such a gentleman. Please, do come inside. Let me unlock the door for you. Alright, let's head into the Ewer residence and talk to what I think is an old woman. I might be wrong. What the hell are you doing in here? Get the fuck out. Whoa, okay. Your wife let me in. Something about a catalog? Oh, for the love of... Look, 
She's dumber than a bag of hammers, okay? If you want to talk to anyone, you need to talk to me. So what the fuck do you want? Language, man. There's kids watching. Uh, Evan King told me to check on you. Is everything okay? We're great. Just peachy. I love sitting in my house with my thumb up my ass. Tell Mr. King that sitting here all day isn't going to make us any safer. We need to take action. Well, that guy was a very fresh breath of fresh air. What am I talking about? That guy was a brush, a, a breath of fresh air. Jesus. What Let's Plays do to you, man, I swear. Okay, um, alright, so this was Evan King's house, which we can't go into right now, and this is the West Residence. And you'll notice we don't have to knock this time, and that's because they're already dead. Look at that. This person looks like a ghoul. Oh, man, that looks gross. Really gross. And this person also looks like a ghoul, but I don't think they were ghouls. I guess that's just what the game developers want you to think that they look like because they've been murdered and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so you notice in blood it says the family, and uh, we can activate these people, so let's go ahead and do that. You lack the skill needed properly to determine the cause of death, medicine 30 or higher required, which sucks. I really wish I did have the medicine at 30, but I... I thought I heard something, but I do know what happens if you do, so I'll tell you guys. And uh, I think we can activate this over here too, can we? No, we just take a look at it. Okay. Um, if you do have medicine at 30, I think you check them, and it says that you notice there are two punctures on their necks. Uh, and it appears that the blood has been drained from their body. I believe that's what it says. So, some of you smarter people probably are realizing what we're dealing with here. Um, Alright, so let's head back to Evan King and tell him what happened and the terrible news. It's surprising that he doesn't even realize they're dead, but we do. Hello there. What did they tell you? Everyone okay? Well, uh, did you know the Wests are dead? The family must have gotten to them in the last attack. Sons of bitches. Damn it! If only we had more men, we could stand up to them. I'm sick of them terrorizing this town. Wait a minute. When you search the West's place, did you find their son Ian's body? No, I only found the parents' bodies. This has to be the work of the family. I've caught that weirdo leader of theirs talking to Ian down by the river. Look, I know I've asked a lot of you already, but you have to find that kid. He deserves better than all this. Okay, uh... Don't worry, Evan, I'll figure out what happened to the Wests. Thanks, kid. You're all right. Okay, so let's just run through all this stuff really quickly. Can you tell me what's been going on around here? Where do you think I can find the family? Oh, uh, that was important. I think they live somewhere east or northeast of here. East or northeast of here. Of Hamilton's be Hideaway, Moonbeam like Cinema, Hamilton's Cinema Hideaway, or Northwest Seneca Mo Metro Station. I think I already know which one it Next is. Next time I see the family, there's going to be hell to pay. Okay, but before we leave Arafu, let's go ahead and break into this guy. Uh, actually, I don't think we have the lockpick skill needed. Well, let's just try it anyways, because there is there should be a bobblehead in here if I remember right. I think it's speech or barter. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's barter. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't have it. Okay, let's take a look at the quest now. Blood ties. Locate the family. Deliver Lucy's message. Okay, and we can't activate the location. Like, we can't make it show us where we need to go. But if we go on the world map here, we have three locations. Seneca Station, Hamilton's Hideaway, and Moonbeam Outdoor Cinema. I'm pretty sure it's Northwest Seneca Station, so we're going to go to that one. Let's go ahead and place the marker there. Okay, and where's that at? You'll notice in the bottom left there's a very faint hollowed out map marker, and that's going to be our custom map marker. Um, the only reason I know where these people are is because I've done this quest many times, obviously, but if you check the other two, I don't think anything's there at all. Alright, so anything in here? No, those are just outhouses. Can we drop down here safely? Uh, doesn't look like it, but going all the way the other way is going to be really tedious. There's got to be a way to jump down here. Um, let's see. I'm thinking about just trying to take my chances and drop down there, but before we do that, let's go ahead and save. I forget how forgiving fall damage is in this game. I'm pretty sure it's not forgiving at all, but let's just try. Uh, is that the closest thing I can jump to? Yeah, I'm almost 100% certain I won't be able to make it, but it's literally right over there, so. Alright, let's try it. Oh yeah, there's no way. Yeah, there we go. I think that's the first time we've died, too. So, that's what death looks like. Very similar to Skyrim. Alright, I'm gonna make my way over there, and then we'll continue. 
Alright, so this is going to be our first encounter with the Metro system, which is a pretty big part of Fallout 3, and I don't really like it because a lot of it looks exactly, I mean pretty much all of it looks exactly the same. Um, and basically what this does is it allows you to enter the actual area of DC, and I think the only way to get to it, because it's blocked off, is to actually go through the tunnels. But that's not what we're worrying about right now, we're worrying about finding the family. So let's go ahead and go back into our map and take this marker off just because I am uh, OC when, OCD when it comes to that stuff. Uh, let's go into snake mode. Snake mode? Let's go into sneak mode and let's head to the Northwest Seneca Station. Alright, so we're not really sure what to expect. Like I said, if you have the medicine skill uh, to be able to sort of diagnose the bodies, you did find puncture wounds, which is kind of weird, isn't it? There's a Nuka-Cola machine over here, which I'm going to check. In case we can find a uh, Nuka Cola Quantum, no such luck. Okay, so that mole rat has detected me. Oh god, let's kill this thing in mid jump, shall we? I always love bats like when it does that, like when they're in the middle of an attack. Right, we have another one over here. So this is going to go ahead and alert like everybody in here. Um, and sometimes you'll also find things like this, and you can find like food and various things behind it. But we're not concerned about the food. Okay, so we don't have a map marker, but there was a, a couple of blips on my radar this way. And as you can see, they're blue, which is a good sign, which means they're not going to attack us right off the bat. This guy has two bobby pins, 15 bottle caps. Okay, so let's try and open this door where there are two people behind it. You are not, not here to try and steal my secrets, are you? Uh, what? Steal your secrets? Not at all. Good. I was afraid I was going to have to abandon my lab here. That would mean starting all over again. It's not easy trying to make Ultra Jet, you know. So if you remember, Jet is a drug, and Ultra Jet is going to be a stronger form of that drug. Ultra Jet, that's some sort of super chem? I suppose you could say that. Ultra Jet is almost double the potency of Jet. Perfect for ghouls. Jet barely affects us, you see. Only trouble is, it's almost impossible to gather the ingredients together. Say... You might be able to help me with that. Yeah, sure, what do you need? Actually, nothing's free in this world, Murphy. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't think you were a freaking charity. It takes three things to make Ultra Jet. Two of the ingredients I got plenty of. The other one is a little harder to find. Sugar bombs. For every box of sugar bombs you bring me, I'll pay you 15 caps. So, you in? Make it 30 caps each and you got yourself a deal. Fine, anything to get what I need. Now scram, I got some preparing to do. Alright, so this is one of these little side quests that you can do in Fallout 3. It's not really a uh, like a, a legit quest, but basically he's looking for sugar bombs, which is a box of cereal. So it's one of the things that you, as you go through this game, you save up and then you come back here when you have a lot and you give it to him. There's a lot of things like that, including scrap metal and uh, pre-war books. Okay, let's see if these guys have any information about the family, so though. what did you bring me? Uh, I have nothing. Have you heard the family? Have you heard of the family? Sure. I stay away from them and they don't bother me. It's a good relationship. They live somewhere east of here. If you're feeling foolish, I think there's an underground way through their place, deeper into the metro station here. Okay, I have to go now. Yep, do what you gotta do. So I don't really like this quest because I'll never take Ultra Jet. Uh, and this dude is his bodyguard, I believe. Okay, so I don't. Th I think we're done here. We can't open this because it's owned, probably. Yes. All right. So you can obviously just kill them if you want to, but that's not how we're gonna do things. All right. So here we go. We have an un. Uh, we have an underground. I'm not even gonna explain it because we're taking six rides a second. But this should be the way to the family. We're almost at the end of this episode here, so in the next episode we'll probably deal with most of it. But oh god, two rides a second. Okay. Well, that's not that bad. And I believe we do have some rad away. So there's a rotting Brahmin corpse. If you remember, a problem with Arafu was that. That they took all their Brahmin, so that should be a hint. Oh, okay, Meyer lurks. Yeah, these guys are creepy as hell. They creep the hell out of me when I was a kid. Basically, these are walking crab monsters, uh, and I don't even know if we're like fully prepared to deal damage to them. But let's wait till they get a little bit closer. It would be nice to deal sneak damage, but I don't think our sneak is high enough. So there we go, Meyer Lurk. Let's go ahead and shoot it in the face as many times as we can. But yeah, these guys are heavily armored, so we're not going to deal that much damage to them. As you can see, in fact, this was probably a bad idea to try and fight these things. But it was the only way to go. We do have, I think, 
quite a bit of stim pack, so we might be okay. Let's go ahead and try and hit this guy. Oh, they keep trying to they keep trying to ram me. All right. Okay, we can't even hit him in the face because it's too much. All right, so now we definitely need to use a couple of stim packs here. Let's go into status and then let's use two. Okay. And now we're back into this like irradiated corner, which really sucks. Oh wow, he's doing a lot of damage to me. All right, we really need to take care of this guy. But let's go ahead and use one more. And one more, and now we need to just... There we go, okay. Alright, we have one more of these to deal with. Why is he taking me down half health so damn fast? I don't know, we're having to use a lot of our stim packs, which really sucks. Alright, this guy will probably be a little bit easier. Can we actually... Yeah, there we go. So there is sneak damage in this game. You can go ahead and target him, and you'll notice sneak attack critical on Mire Lurk. But it's not going to do a lot because most of them are, uh, most of their body is armored. So you really want to get them like right in the face, and it's kind of hard because their face is so small. Um, we really need to upgrade our weapon. And I know a lot of people are telling me there's a sniper rifle near Megaton. I know, I know. I just keep forgetting to get it. Okay. So uh, rather than like completely bypassing this guy, I do want to take him out, and then we'll end the episode. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Yeah, see, this thing is so inaccurate. I don't even think we hit its face once, even though it said that we had a 60% chance to hit it. Oh my god, these things do so much damage. Yeah, I think we should have leveled up a bit before we took on this quest. I remember I don't really do this quest early on anyways. I usually wait a little bit. Nevertheless, two Mirelurks down, and I believe all they have is Mirelurk meat. Yep, which we don't want anything a part of. Uh, so it would be nice to find a bed and heal, but that's probably not going to happen. I'm going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. My name is Rovan, and we'll continue this in the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please remember to like and share it wherever you can. It really helps me grow my channel. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and click subscribe on your screen, and if you want to see the next video in this series, click watch another. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one.